We're here with Orlando Kent at Full Sail University. It may look like I'm on Bourbon Street in New Orleans, but I'm actually in Orlando, Florida. And Orlando Kent's gonna tell us some of the awesome things that he's doing here to make Orlando a place to love. So here we are at Ken DeGilio, and some people call him Orlando Ken. You know, Ken, tell us a little bit about how, what inspires you about Orlando and how you're connected to the Orlando scene. So I grew up in Daytona, but Daytona Ken didn't sound as good as Orlando Ken. Oh, wow, okay. Because obviously I've lived here now for 15 years. The inspiration really came from all that is Orlando that we know, not yeah. just Disney, but just everything around um, all this activity, all this. Um, greatness that people from all over the world come to experience and so I always knew that I'd be part of that in whatever way you know it was but I, I wanted that and so that's the backstory really for Orlando Ken is to be part of what's happening in Orlando so I've been here at Full Sail University for 10 years and um, I'm in the business side of the program which means I help students figure out what their place in the entertainment business world is which is pretty amazing. And that's really a big part of my inspiration is seeing all their different ideas from film and gaming, the eSports. I have a student in eSports today yeah. uh, that, that I've been working with, uh, fashion and YouTube. Um, so all different things that you can imagine that's happening right around us. Um, my students want to be part of it and are part of what's happening. And I get to throw in my experience and, and my expertise to help them grow and, and develop what they're going to do so every month that changes so I get a whole new crop every month yeah and I have all these new challenges and I look at it as the the inspiration for my work and, and what I do and you've also I know you're part of a nonprofit uh, community here as well I've seen that you've actually got the president's award for some work that you've done with charities tell us a little bit about how you're tied to that community so in my previous lives <laughs> Uh, a couple now because I've done a lot of different things in my background but for over 10 years I was a nonprofit director okay and so um, I, I look for things that I can do to be involved in the nonprofit world so things like uh, helping uh, relay for life or um, bringing my class down to third Thursdays downtown to experience art with the City Arts Factory. Okay. Um, and I have my own group called Nona Network where we try to get together and help out organizations that need help uh, on a monthly basis. Trending thread of all of this is social media. So how you're watching me now is a big part of the jobs that are impacting them. Yeah. A lot of my past students and I've had interns, they're working in internet marketing and social media. Um, so this I right here, Facebook, social media, that's important you're saying? That's it. <laughs> so it's helping them find there are opportunities out there in the world. Okay. So um, whether they're, they're their own business and they're using this as a tool or they're using social media as a way to build their careers, um, it's interesting to see and it's, it's not predictable. Unfortunately, there's no way to say, oh, this is the way it's gonna go. Um, it's just unfolding before our eyes as you guys know. What inspires you? you we talked a little bit about you want to leave a legacy yeah. and that's important. You know, what yeah. is your inspiration to do the work that you do in the yeah. community? Well, I told you I was inspired and, and still I am inspired by my dad who okay. was a retired art director for General Electric. Embracing creativity and, and trying to learn new things and learning from my students and getting inspired by my students is a big part of what I'm about. So I come here to school not only to teach, but also to learn and get inspired from them. And so it works both ways. So they're kind of, it's a challenge in a way, yeah. really, because I, I can give them my experience and at some point I have to, to be able to listen to them to see um, you know what's going to come in the future. And I, so I try to to build on that. So you learn from your students <laughs> all well, the time. Huh? Wow, yeah. that's pretty And cool. also take my own advice. So whether it's social media or building my brand, as I'm talking, I'm like, do I really do that? And maybe it's time for me to go back yeah. and do some things. And, and so yes, it's about always growing and learning for me. I think the one takeaway that I try to live every day is um, be, you know, living your authentic brand. So what does that really mean to you? I, I don't know, right? Because I'm not in your shoes. Right. I don't know what that's about. So whatever story that you have, whatever way that you can be most authentic to people like we are today, yeah. embracing that opportunity to tell your story and to reach out. But remember at the end of the day, um, did I really do the things that 
make me who I am. And if I did, then you know you feel good about what you're doing, and you start telling people, and you build uh, that tribe around you, right? Around people who feel the, that same way. Very and cool. That's what it's about. I found yeah. my tribe here at Full Sail. Yeah. And um, it's a good experience to to be able to go to work to to uh, preach to them, you yeah. know, sometimes, but also to be inspired by them because we're all growing and moving together. But they don't really know the real Full Sail. Maybe yeah. tell a little bit all the exciting things that are going on here. Well, you know, we, everyone knows like uh, music videos happen, uh, gaming, you know, you buy a new game at the store. Well, that's happening here, like under our roof. Students learn how to do those things. They, they learn how to build a business. They learn how to be entrepreneurs. They learn how, um, you know, all of the essential things that we just know that happen. It happens here. They learn here first. Yeah. So wow. That's that's pretty amazing. Yeah, it's full and full sale live. Pretty cool. I saw they have a convention going on here. And it, we like always it. have different conventions for bloggers. We have um, gaming. We have uh, tech communities that come here and. Cool. And our own events that happen as well, performing arts that awesome. happen under our roof. So awesome. Pretty amazing. Well, thanks, Ken DeGilio. Thanks. If you haven't checked them out, check them out on Facebook, Twitter. Orlando is, Ken. Orlando Ken. Doesn't get better than that for I Love Orlando. Thanks, Orlando Ken. Thanks for joining us. Any last bit of advice for the audience out there? Have a great day and keep hustling. <laughs>